see what the time race was. Oh, okay, just the round sections there. Yeah, we'll start off with that. We can do a few time race rounds here. Last week we did through the round game and the type A, but there's also a type B that I didn't get around to checking out here, so might dabble a little bit at this morning too. But yeah, your main goal is to pick up all these little monster creatures and then take them out with the bombs at the very up there helps drop for you. Like any good puzzle game, different score modes and I remember when we were younger all trying to see how much we can clinch out those times there. I think those are total times across all three round modes if I remember that properly. See if we can get that all set. This is where I suffer is when I start getting too many of the same colors going. That's what I'm going to do. So it's an interesting mix between people, match puzzle game and a platforming game. As a Birdo, I have no idea why Birdo's there specifically, but yes, you play the game as Toad. Chance to do his own little standalone thing. Mostly, I'm guessing as a send back to the Mario Brothers 2, where he's one of the playable characters, or pick up the turn ups or bad guys on that version of Mario Brothers. As far as why Birdo's there, I'm guessing it's for that same reason as Susa, character on Mario Brothers 2, so keep that whole thought process and correlation together. <laughs> yes, Wario is here too, but Birdo sits the the way the game works is it goes in phases, so send so, in the next round, she's actually pointing down at what you'll see as a little countdown timer. If that timer maxes out, it shifts over to Wario, and then at that point, instead of having a friendly fairy here to help us, you get less friendly enemy to try to hinder us. See, the ideal is to keep yourself out of that time mode so that you're not being punished too badly. It's for these short rounds, I'm not getting to that stage yet, but we'll get there.
See, there's Wario. I just beat him off. Yeah, on top of the bombs being sent down, that little pro pidget there will actually send down more enemies into the field as well, so increase the number of things that you have to deal with. Now, watch ads. There you go. Yeah, you probably see a bit more Mario in the final set here as the rounds get longer. Yeah, there's more rounds. Now this is one of those few examples of stuff I grew up on, so... It's a bit rusty trying to mess with it the other day though, but... Get that figured out, Let's go along. Ideally one of the strategies you want to focus on while you're going through this is to keep the... Do as many different chain combos like that as you can. That actually helps to speed up or slow down the timer as it's coming along.
Yeah, if you can manage to chain together enough of the monsters at once to drop turn into. You'll get diamonds, which then if you match those will destroy every one of the monsters of that color on the screen. <laughs> More stress for no reason, exactly. Then the overall total there went uh, six minutes, eighteen seconds. So put my time in the vague silver bracket there. Not quite gold, so have to keep messing around there. Yeah, there's my technical rank certification. Absolutely. Doing the time trial so hard because I don't have any control over what that tank fairy does. <sighs> don't tap it again. Thank you. 
like that and go like, here's another one to say that can help me. Hey, good to see you, Game Lord. What a throwback, yep. Had a chance to check out a little bit of it last week, so I did. Mess around some of the I'm proud mode here this morning. Hope you're doing well. Feel better and everything. First few rounds actually went nice this time. It's not so good, but... But I think it was enough to bring it under. Yep. Yay! <laughs> Jeff threw up, but I think it's like a lot. <laughs> but we're doing alright. Much appreciated. Popular. Catching this and that, isn't it? Getting to the winter season. 